So this investigation is reflecting object A in the blue line to get the blue image and then reflecting the blue image not the original object but the blue image in a horizontal line to get the purple image and the question is is there a single rotation that will take shape A directly onto that second image that has the same effect as those two reflections. This resource does require knowledge about equations of lines, how you describe a rotation and a reflection. If students aren't ready for that yet, um, there's an equation reflections uh, resource here which goes through that really nicely and links why equations of lines define a line and how that links to reflections with some rotations. So we can analyze and see that the equations of the lines are defined using a constant v and so it's the constants that we can then can change using the constant controller down here so I can change the position of the vertical and horizontal to look for, collect, ex do lots of experiments, see if I can find a pattern in what happens and what sort of rotations required and then the key variable for the rotations is the r, I I've purposely set that to 410 so as not to give the game away we can rotate that round and move the centre of rotation as we discussed earlier and double click on the centre of rotation so you can see its centre uh, of rotation coordinates. And then the extension is the rotation and reflections activity with diagonal lines and again can you find a general pattern for that rotation if there is one that exists and really you're trying to get that so it totally overlaps the other one or almost there but not quite. Uh, I really like to stress the investigation skills so you might use Notability with Macs or OneNote with Office there's this great software too which is open source, freely downloadable, Open Sancore, it's a whiteboard software at the top right I can click on Show Desktop I can then have some screen capture software and the scissors there and I can take a picture of what I'm working on put it onto my notes and annotate that and so I can do lots of experiments to try and find um, if there's any general patterns and then try and find proof. Um, if I click at the top right here I can see all the different applications that are available within Open Sancora. I'm going to add a protractor in this case and that's quite useful if I wanted to measure maybe the angle of rotation between my original object and my image and like like all sort of online protractors, um, this one as well, you can change a number of things about it. Grab the arrow. I can make it bigger so I can see the, those angles more easily. I can rotate it and I can change um, the angle there. I, I like this activity because um, to get for the proof it combines equations of lines with reflections with rotations and it includes some of your geometric knowledge about angles and shapes to, to come up with the proof um, and allows you to do loads of notes and work on your investigation skills systematically.